I'm the Calculus Professor and today I'll be talking to you about infinite series. In problem number 57, we'd like to find the sum of the series, sum k going from 1 to infinity of 1 over k plus 6 times k plus 7. Now I could write out a few terms of this series, but very quickly we would see it kind of looks like a mess. And so what I'm going to do is I see, oh, this is 1 over a linear times a linear. So maybe I could break this up into two different fractions using partial fractions. So let's use partial fractions on 1 over k plus 6 times k plus 7, and maybe that will give me direction. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to look at 1 over k plus 6 times k plus 7. And using partial fractions, I know that should have the form a over k plus 6 plus b over k plus 7. Now I could clear out all the fractions on this and I get that 1 is equal to a times k plus 7 plus b times k plus 6. Now by making some good choices for the values of k, I can see what a and b are. So let's let k be equal to negative 7. If k is negative 7, then I have on the left side I have a 1, and on this side this term goes away, and negative 7 plus 6 is negative b. And so I get that b must be equal to negative 1. And then I can make the choice that k is equal to negative 6. If I let k equal negative 6, uh, then on the left side I still have 1. And on the right side, this term now goes away, and I get a times 1. In other words, I just get a. So a equals 1. Okay. So now that we've broken this thing up using partial fractions, let's rewrite this series. The series now looks like this. This is the sum k going from 1 to infinity of a over k plus 6, which is 1 over k plus 6, uh, then plus b over k plus 7, but b is negative 1, so minus 1 over k plus 7. Now, this is something I can work with. This I can find the nth partial sum of. So let's look at the nth partial sum of that guy. Let's look at s sub n. And if I look at when k is 1, what do I get? I get 1 over 1 plus 6, which is 1 seventh, and then I get minus 1 over 1 plus 7, which is minus 1 eighth. Plus, if k were 2, then I get 1 over an 8, so 1 eighth, and if k is 2, I get 1 over 2 plus 7, or minus 1 ninth. Plus, I could keep doing this until finally I get to the nth term, if I plugged an in, I get 1 over n plus 6, 1 over n plus 6, minus 1 over n plus 7. And we see that things telescope. The negative 8th and the 8th cancel. The negative 9th and a 9th cancel. The negative 1 over n plus 6 and the 1 over n plus 6 cancel. And all I'm left with is s sub n is equal to 1 7th minus 1 over n plus 7. So I found s sub n. If I want to find the sum of my series, I need to take the limit of s n as n goes to infinity. So let's do it. I take the limit as n goes to infinity of s sub n, which is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 7th minus 1 over n plus 7. And as n goes to infinity, this fraction goes to 0. 
and all I'm left with is 1 over 7. And that's the sum of my infinite series.